Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason and this is a daily hypnosis session just for you. I hope that you're well and I hope that you can take the time to just relax a bit. Give yourself a short break from the day. And I'll let you know now that there, there probably will be background sounds either outside my house or upstairs maybe there might be background sounds where you live I don't know but that's okay because this is not sleep this is not an insomnia hypnosis session what this is is a change hypnosis session and how that change occurs I don't know because I'm not you and I'm not inside your mind yet things will change because things always do change anyway naturally in their own way all this does is it gives you an opportunity to get more in touch with that part of your functioning in your mind that brings about those kinds of life-changing moments and sometimes all it takes is just a tiny movement which can change your thoughts which can change your limiting beliefs so that you now think differently about things so I'd like you to get yourself comfortable either in a, a comfortable chair or lying down on a, a flat surface or you could do it standing up if you want but I will ask you to close your eyes so ideally um, only close your eyes when it's safe to do so so I guess standing up wouldn't be the ideal thing I know that I'd if I stood up stand with my eyes closed I might get a bit wanting to sit down or something so I'm going to assume that you're ready with your eyes closed I'd like you just to think of something that maybe a, a limiting belief something that's limiting your enjoyment in your life um, it could be anything I'm not gonna even suggest anything I'm just gonna give you you know just let you decide something that is limiting you maybe something that's limited you today or yesterday or during this week or the last month and on reflection you thought if only I did something different if only I could do something different or I had done something different or could think differently how your life would change particularly in that situation if it arose again and maybe you would like that situation to arise again but with you acting differently with a different outcome maybe as I said this is vague stuff I don't know what it is you're thinking about or what it is that you're focusing on right now so just think about something doesn't have to be a major thing it can be a something that you're not that worried about but could benefit when it's changed when that tiny movement occurs and what do I mean by tiny movement I kind of think of it in a way of electronics or like a clock worker a watchmaker that, that kind of thing it's like one tiny little thing can affect the whole process the whole movement does that make sense that you know it doesn't ne necessarily need a lot of changes just one tiny change or with plumbing you can we've got to do is just to unblock the tube and then it's done and then it's sorted once you've unplugged that, unplugged, unblocked that 
drain pipe everything flows again fine so I'm just wondering what uh, could happen for you if you make that change and I realize it's not a conscious thing and as I said before there are background sounds so don't worry about it doesn't matter I think I also banged the microphone a minute ago so this is a conversation this isn't you becoming unconscious going into some kind of a deep sleep or this is you just opening your mind and you could do this with your eyes open with me but I suggest that you always only ever listen to hypnosis sessions when you can safely close your eyes because this isn't something that you could do when you're driving a car or anything like that because it is distracting and it is something that you focus in inwards on and it should focus even more inward because my voice is really the only thing that you need to take any notice of as far as sounds go all other sounds are just sounds there's always going to be sounds even if it's just your breathing always going to be a sound in the room cars in the background well, that's, that might be a motorbike I don't know and it doesn't matter because what matters is the movement the change and because you were focusing on a specific thing I don't know what it was Focusing on the idea of just a small movement, a small adjustment. And that's not to say that how it was before was wrong. All it is is to say that you choose for your mind to work in a way that you want it to work. Because you own your mind if you're watching television and the television is on a channel that you don't want to watch you don't just continue watching the channel there's something on the other, other side other channel that you want to watch you don't just continue watch you, you turn it over you change it because you have control in the same way you press that button now which then changes the way your mind works and sometimes it's easier for the simple fact that it is your mind it's inside you it is part of you it is you and I bet you've had your mind longer than you've had your television unless you're only two years old and you've got a television that was there before you were born in which case you shouldn't be watching this anyway and you probably wouldn't understand but I think you get where I'm coming from with that you're going to be older than the television set you've had your mind for a long time your mind is you your body is you And however it is, is okay. But it's still okay, even though it's okay, for you to expect, wish, demand for things to change in a way that you choose. Because you're in control. You're the boss basically
so I don't know how you're feeling and this pretty much is the end of this session but and I know that it's fake I know that this session you know it's not like if I'm talking about getting rid of chronic pain I'd focus on the body part maybe and you know blah 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 but things change and the focus that you have when you listen to my voice watch my videos see my funny face on the screen whatever something changes something improves if you want to call it, if you want to label it as improved and you can become more how you wish to be you can become more who you wish to be but I think more importantly you take a bit more control over how you feel and you become who you are so this isn't about becoming some fake person. It's about becoming more real. Getting more in touch with who you are. And I think that's something that all of us could benefit from, including myself. Being more real. More honest. Even if it's just with ourselves. I say that even because sometimes that's can be the hardest one so I'd just like you to maybe between now and the next session just get in touch with how you're feeling notice any changes that you're feeling and sometimes it could be something you can't quite put your finger on but you feel a difference, you feel a change but you might not know why or what it is but somewhere in your mind you can kind of get the sense that you're moving in the right direction for you so that's the end of this daily hypnosis session I hope you're well hope you've enjoyed it um, as I said there's been some background sounds uh, which is fine that's just what happens um, every session's different well that is you know there's familiarities there's similarities because there is a, a constant message of opening your mind to the possibilities of change getting in touch with who you are as a person and that's an overall continuous message I guess that I will be pursuing and integrating and the idea of how easily things can change and how easily you can change because if I'm honest, that is how I see it. That is, that is how I see hypnosis. If you go to, if you read some of the hypnosis books, I mean, I'm in front of me here. I've got a big library of hypnosis books I've been collecting since 1998, and for me. I feel there's the core of what hypnosis is and I don't think it's really about telling people what they're going to feel and I feel that the general public seem to want to be told what to feel they want to for example if they can't stop smoking they want someone to tell them that they can stop smoking and that they will stop smoking so it takes away the 
the takes away their own power in some ways. I'm more in the frame of mind of you can choose to do that. You can choose not to do that whichever way you want. You can give your own mind the suggestion. You can ask your own mind to heal, to change, to mend, to move towards something different. So for me it's more an instant connection. Between, I guess maybe my words, my voice, and your mind. Maybe my mind and your mind, I don't know. But there's a real intention when I do these sessions. It's a real intention of change, of wishing you well, of wishing you to be healthy and to be happy. And wishing for you to have what you need. It's also worth remembering that what we need is not always what we want. And sometimes we don't know what we need. I know that sometimes I don't know what I need. So there's part of that is to open up your mind to the possibilities of learning new things not just about yourself and about your own requirements your own needs for a happy life both mentally and physically and emotionally so that's kind of why I'm doing these daily hypnosis sessions is to give you something more than you may get elsewhere and maybe something more than you would get in a, a stop smoking session or even some of the other sessions that I've done which focus on a specific thing this appeals more to me this is more the direction that I would like to go in the future um, something deeper so that you can make those changes inside your own mind which doesn't involve me trying to make you do anything or make you feel anything it's about the connection it's about you trusting not just me but yourself as well I don't know if any of this has made sense to you and whether you're still there but my plan from this day forward is to help you to continue this growth forward to be to feel to experience the life that you deserve to be happy to be free because ultimately this is about freedom by reducing, by eliminating limiting beliefs provides you with more freedom to choose so that's the end of this session it's a little bit longer than the last two sessions I've done and so enjoy the rest of the day, feeling wonderful, thank you.